Hey guys, it's Alan. Let's put together a gaming PC using PC Part Picker. So, welcome to everyone that's watching this video and to the people that visit my website at collegestudentpcgaming.wordpress.com. You guys should uh, visit my website for info about PC gaming and why you should switch from console gaming. And most of you guys that are watching this video are probably college students looking to get into PC gaming. So let's get right into it. So why PC Part Picker and what is it? So basically PC Part Picker is a website tool that allows you to sort and organize PC parts and basically assemble your own PC virtually without having to buy it. So it will tell you if it's compatible or if there's a sale on an item that you really want and it'll tell you the final price and where to buy all of them. So it's a really neat tool. So let's figure out what we need to get. So what parts do we actually need? So what we need is a CPU, a CPU cooler, motherboard, memory, storage, a video card, a case, and a power supply. So this is the website. So first of all, we'll click on System Builder right here and let's find ourselves a good CPU. Since we're working with a college student budget, we won't go crazy and buy a really expensive one. I recommend going with this one. Uh, this CPU is pretty decent and it should get the job done for you. Uh, CPU cooler. What's nice about this CPU is that it comes with a cooler and you don't need to spend any other money to get an aftermarket one. So next we're getting a motherboard. Let's pick out a good, decent priced one. This ASRock one looks pretty nice. Let's go with that. Uh, let's pick out our RAM. So we shouldn't get 16 gigs, but let's get eight gigs. It should definitely be enough. So let's go with two by four gig sticks and let's get this let's get this one all right storage this is where we're going to store all our data so games homework etc so let's get this one terabyte western digital blue and next we're picking the video card so Let's go with EVGA and let's get ourselves a 1660 Ti. Uh, I recommend this one. Let's go with the case. And out of all these options, I say go with this Fractal Design Focus G. It's pretty cheap and is decent looking. And if you want a closer look, I say it looks pretty nice. And it's pretty cheap too. All right, let's go back and find a good power supply. So let's go EVGA again. And let's pick out a. Let's go with a let's go with, the, with this EVGA BQ so basically this is the parts that are needed to build a computer so the CPU the cooler that's included with this uh, motherboard RAM storage the video card the case and power supply so the reason why I went with this CPU is because along with this motherboard, you can easily swap this out, get a new one, and this motherboard will still be good. So you could upgrade it to a, an even better CPU in the future when you get the money. And that's what's great about building your own computer. You could upgrade whenever you want and whenever you need to. And one more thing that's kind of essential for building a computer is that you need a operating system. So 
click on here this let's pick ourselves up a Windows 10 Pro key add that to cart and this price kind of seems too much but I could s I'll let you know in secret for saving some money so let's go to this different site called kingwin.net and let's search for Windows 10 professional key okay so this website is different from PC part picker and it's a key buying website where you can buy game keys and software keys so I personally use this and it's always worked I bought maybe four of them for my friends and family so I highly recommend using this to save a lot so 120 from Amazon versus 23 so I'll just put this as 23 18 we'll save that and this is basically what a complete PC is with all the parts that that's necessary for it to run so I know 629 is still a lot but compared to the MacBook Pro it's still cheap and all consoles usually need you to pay to play online that's usually $60 a year and let's say you want to keep that for two years that's hundred twenty dollars right there and on PC you don't, you don't need to buy that so you're saving a bunch just by just switching to a computer and trust me you'll be able to swap out all the parts here to even better parts that's exactly what I did so I hope you learned something and have a great rest of your day see ya